Ah, oh, there you are. Dude, I'm stoked about this film. Any any movie that's named Drive Angry, I'm like, I got to see it, you know? It, it, it feels like it's got a throwback to the to some of the 70s road movies that I remember, you know, Corman, that kind of thing. Right. Yeah, it's very much, uh, when we started writing it, uh, one of the movies we referenced a lot was Vanishing Point, and then Duel, Seven Ups, Bullet. These are all a lot of the films that we talked about while we were writing it and would watch repeatedly. Because uh, they, because that we love that, and then also movies like High Plains Drifter, Outlaw Josie Wales. These are other things that that felt like they would be, you know, would be a great way to encapsulate a story, especially a 3D story, because I've never really seen that kind of movie uh, done in 3D. Yeah, well, that funny you brought that up. Now, how's the, the 3D element going to be incorporated into, a, I guess, a road movie of some sort? Well, it's uh, you know we all shot it all in 3D, so everything you know captured in camera in 3D as we went. You know, we had the specially designed cameras to, to shoot at the speeds that we were going to shoot as we were physically racing down the highway. Uh, uh, so uh, you know, it's you are going to be in the car with Nick. You're going to be in the car with the experience. You're going to be part of the experience. You're going to be hanging on the back of the RV with uh, Amber Heard. You're you know you're you're in the world. It's completely immersive. Um, and at, at incredibly high speeds. Now, is this a horror movie, or is it, how would you how, how do we describe it? Supernatural action thriller with horror, humor, sexy elements. Ah, <laughs> I can just see you pitching that one. Yeah, yeah. You know what? We it's the kind of thing where the script sort of spoke to itself, and really the title sort of encapsulates everything. You know, the title speaks to an attitude that the film has, um, and it's yeah, it drive angry. Now you get Nick Cage on, and then everything kind of fell into place. Yes, yeah, yeah. We uh, wrote the script in eight weeks, and then uh, and then we uh, went took it to Mike DeLuca, who immediately loved it and recommended. You know, said Nick could be perfect at this party, he'd love it. And sent it to Nick, he loved it. We met with Nick for 23 minutes. At the end of it, he's like, "Well, I have to play this part. I am this guy. I have to play it. I've never played anybody this hard or this edgy or this much of a badass." So uh, he loved it. Looking forward to it, man. Hollywood needs these kind of films. They really Absolutely. do. Yeah, so that's why we made it. Congrats, man. Thank Looking you so much. To you. All right.